Hi, I'm Marcel James. Welcome to The Pulse. Today we're going to talk about another scientific study. This one was published recently in Cell Discovery Medical Journal, and it involves mice who were given a lethal dose of COVID and then treated with NMN supplementation. Now, I know mice and humans are different, but the resulting symptoms in these mice mirrored the kinds of symptoms that humans are having. So the concept here is to boost NAD levels by giving NMN. NMN is a precursor to NAD. People who take NMN experience higher levels of energy typically, get sick less often. I've even noticed that I breathe better, which is very interesting because we're gonna talk about the impact of pneumonia and the impact on the lungs with these COVID sufferers. So these poor mice, the COVID sufferers. Now, first of all, the COVID epidemic has killed about 5 million people around the world, or a little bit more. So they tested all of these things, including the infected lungs, and they were significantly rescued by the NMN supplementation. More strikingly, 30% of the aged mice that were given a lethal dose, in other words, all of the ones that didn't get NMN died, and 30% of those aged mice that were given NMN survived. Now, they don't talk about anything else being done, so I'm going to assume that the only thing that they had that was different was the NMN. But we know that in hospitals, um, there are other treatments so for, for COVID, for humans. So if we were to give all 5 million of these people, we could have saved at least 1.5 million lives. But that doesn't factor in maybe the reduction in symptoms the other 70% would have experienced. Maybe other treatments could have saved a lot of those lives as well. Additionally, they found that NMN supplementation partially rescued the disturbed gene expression and metabolism caused by the infection. They support more trials now uh, targeting the NAD plus pathway for humans. I, for one, cannot understand why we're not pursuing this. Uh, hopefully somewhere there are NAD trials going on. I have heard about people getting intravenous NAD and surviving COVID, very serious symptoms of COVID, in very select hospital situations. It'd be really nice to see more of this going on. Another thing that they discovered was boosting NAD levels uh, alleviated pneumonia. And you can see on this graph on the right side on the bottom, clearly less of the infection in the lungs. Here they talk about how the cells were infiltrated, airways were blocked, cell death occurred in the infected lungs, and that all of these were substantially reduced in the NAD treatment group. Again, salvaging the gene expression, alleviating pneumonia, and there's a link, by the way, to this entire study. So you can go, you can watch the video and then go and then read all of this for yourself. The pneumonia numbers were really interesting. They said cell death was substantially suppressed by NMN and NAD treatment, 72 and 73% effectively. As I understood it, some mice were given NAD directly through an intravenous shot. Others were given an NMN supplement. Also, the NMN supplementation rescued the disturbance of metabolism caused by the infection. Now, there's been a lot of talk about NMN and its impact on glucose levels. Very interestingly, they found higher glucose levels in the infected mice and that they returned to normal when they were given NMN. Now, you hear a lot of people talk about NMN boosting NAD level in the bloodstream, but does it get into the tissue? Well, recent scientific breakthroughs have shown that it does boost muscle tissue. And here they say their results indicated that NAD and the associated precursors, NMN, NR, were all elevated in the lungs of the infected mice after they were given NMN. So it clearly got into the lung tissue. Now, as with other trials, I find the dosage to be very important. With NMN, some people take lower dosages, don't feel anything, they double their dosage, and suddenly they get more energy, they feel more results. The equivalent of what these mice were given works out to be about 200 milligrams for an adult dosage. That works out to be on the low side of what is effective in most of the other trials. In one trial, they found 600 milligrams, three times that amount to be effective. So I'm wondering if that 30% number, the survivability number from the lethal dose couldn't have been much higher had they been given a higher dosage as most people take a lot more. I take two grams right now. I find 1.5 grams is probably my sweet spot and it's probably where I'm gonna settle eventually. 
but I'm taking a lot more, 10 times what these mice were given, and they had very positive results in this trial. So I'd suggest reading the information, taking it seriously. I don't see a lot of harm if you do get infected with COVID. Take NMN, try it, see if it works for you, take a proper dosage. Obviously consult with your doctor, let him know what you're doing. It certainly seems promising enough, maybe more people should be considering this. Like I said, I haven't had any COVID at all, and I know a lot of people close to me that I've interacted with that have had it two or three times, and I haven't had it a single time. Matter of fact, I haven't been sick in the past year. So I look forward to hearing more about this. I find it interesting that we kind of have to look for this information, that we're not hearing about it in the media. We're not hearing about it from the World Health Organization or CDC. We have to go and dig online. I have my own theories about how the pharmaceutical and medical companies sort of have this whole thing in the bag for them to come up with their own medicines. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if more and more people discover that NMN has positive impacts on COVID and more people start taking it. As more studies come out, I'll keep reporting more. So subscribe, like, and I'd like to hear your comments as well below. Thanks for watching.